stupid enough to be talked into. Wait a minute. Would you mind if I had a word with Sellers? Oh, by all means. What do you want to talk to Sellers about? You'll see in a moment or two. Well, isn't it a little late? He'll have gone to bed. Oh, nonsense. He's much too overexcited to go to bed. Yes, but we've kept him up late enough as it is, no, darling. No, no, no. And... He's all right. He's tearing up his novel. Did you ring, my lord? Oh, forgive my dressing gown, my lady. May I? Go on, fire away. Fire, I must warn you, is the operative word. Sellers, what's your first name? Oh, Trevor, sir. Ah, I thought possibly it might be Dick, as in dead eye. Where did you learn to use a pistol, Sellers? In the army, sir. A small arms training school, Southeastern Command. Well, they did a good job on you. You're a fine shot. What is all this about? Would you like to tell her ladyship, Sellers? Or you, Victor? Or shall I? Go on, Sellers. Tell them what happened. Well, his lordship anticipated Mr. Delacroix's intention, my lady. What are you talking about? What intention? Well, that he would, of course, shoot to miss his lordship, my lady. We reckon with all the excitement, you'd be too preoccupied to notice, sir. Well, I fired from the hip. Do you mean to say that... that I shot his lordship? Well, yes, my lady. <gasps> On his instructions, of course. A fine second you turned out to be. I could claim a foul, you know, and demand a replay. Victor, is this true? Uh, <clears throat> well, yes, darling, but I've always believed that the happy ending justifies the means. Oh, and I <clears throat> thought it was all so romantic and you were so brave. Well, so I was. After the way Sellers shot at the practice this morning, I was never so frightened in my life. What was the best you got, Sellers? Three flower pots out of five, my lord. There, you see. Will that be all, my lady? Yes, thank you, Sellers. Good night. Good night, my lady. Good night, my lord. Good night, sir. Oh, Victor, darling, you feeling all right now? No. Where did you get that coat? Somebody gave it to me. What for? Just answer me that. What for? Well, to keep me warm, I suppose. Who gave it to you? I've been dying to show it to you. You're not jealous, are you, darling? Do you know that for just one split second I was? I really was. I can't blame you. Isn't the color dreamy? Take it off. You, you want to try it on? I have tried it on. Take it off. Oh, look uh, out for my arm. Uh, but, but, but really, darling, I can't. I haven't got much on underneath. I couldn't care less. Take it I off. Let you try it on in the morning. Take it off. Really, darling, I can't. I am going to count. Oh. Three. One, two. Oh, how do I shoot? No, 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 no. Oh, this way. Yes. Oh, yes, that's right. Now then, for the last time, take it off. I suppose this is what's called being frightened out of one's skins. <laughs> Dearest Charles, it's the most lovely coat I've ever seen, but I'm afraid I must give it back to you. I'm cold. Well, you better put this back on right away. Oh, thank you, Charles. Isn't it gorgeous? I finally got a mink. It just goes to show you, doesn't it? Oh, Hill, darling, you did look lovely in it. And I'm sure you did. I must say I did like it, but it is a little too much for a housekeeper to wear mink. What do you mean, housekeeper? Well, that's my position here for a little while. Good, they give me that. Thank you, Sellers. Thank you, madam. Goodbye, Mrs. Dowland, dear. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Hill, darling. Mm. Bye, darling. Thank you for a lovely weekend. Bye, Charles. Goodbye, Hillary. Goodbye, Charles. Victor. Bye, darling. Bye, bye. Here they are. Hey. Phil, Hello, my Phil. love. Oh, oh how oh, nice no, to darling. see you. What's happened to your arm, Daddy? Oh, oh I sprained my wrist. Shoulder. <laughs> the stately homes of England, how beautiful they stand. To prove the upper classes have still the upper hand Though the fact that they have to be rebuilt And frequently mortgaged to the guilt Is inclined to take the guilt Of the gingerbread and certainly damps the fun Of the eldest son But still we won't be beaten We'll scrimp and screw and save The playing fields of Eton have made us frankly brave and though if the Van Dykes have to go and we pawn the Beckstein Grand, we'll stand by the stately homes of me.